Ask an expert. <laughs> Did I get that right? <laughs> you need to like hold this up, I'm sorry. <laughs> we are on Ask the Expert. I'm Kadir, I'm CEO of BlockCypher, and so ask me any Bitcoin related questions you want. Twitter bird is very difficult to catch. Come here. Got it. Okay, this question is from Arno Mosikian. Do you believe that Bitcoin is for public good? Yes. I really do believe that Bitcoin is for the public good. It is massive decentralized consensus that's happening. And fundamentally, it is to provide things that cannot be done now. People that live on $2.50 a day, they don't have a bank account, they don't have access to capital, they can't ever escape out of cycles of cycles of cycles of poverty because for them to get a loan, it's a 37% interest rate. Can you imagine paying 37% on your car or your house? That's inconceivable. And these are from people that don't have money. Bitcoin, you can give somebody a loan for fractions of a cent so that they can actually do something other than live in the way that they have been forever and ever. So micropayments is such, I think that's one of the most incredible potentials of Bitcoin because it's divisible to 10 to the negative eighth. And so you can transfer fractions, like 50 cents, with 0.0001 cent worth. And so then it becomes much more tractable to do micropayments, microtransactions using Bitcoin. This is from Ryan Farron. Is Bitcoin the largest Ponzi scheme of all time? No, it's not. It really isn't. I don't even know how to answer this question. It's not predicated on the next person or selling the next person on Bitcoin. It's actually predicated on all the networks providing consensus as to whether or not you own something or not. The fundamental problem that the blockchain solves is this thing called double spend. And what we mean by double spend is if I send you a picture of a check or a dollar, you can't prove that I haven't sent it to a million other people. But with the blockchain, it definitively proves that one, I have that dollar, and two, I've only sent it to you and not a million other people. And the other thing is Bitcoin is, it's somewhat, it's kind of like the Euro, it's a universal currency. And so it has the same value um, no matter where you are. Bitcoin is a Bitcoin is a Bitcoin. And it just matters if you transfer it to some sort of fiat with a conversion rate. It, but it is like the Euro for the world, if you will. This question is from Raximus Sauce. That's an interesting name. When will I be able to buy a Big Mac with Bitcoin? You can do that now through a number of gift cards. Have at it. Thank you for joining us on Ask an Expert. My name is Catherine. Please subscribe, like, and tune in next week. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> I'm dying to see what this looks like. Yeah.